Hi everyone, this is Marianne. I know it's been a long time, but I have had major life changes, which I might talk about in a future video, but today we are going to have an unboxing of the limited edition olive colored traveler's notebook and compare it with my old, old, old brown traveler's notebook. Okay, so I've had this for a while. I purchased this a couple of years ago and I ended up not using it. And then I realized that I have never really filmed an unboxing. So here it is. Inside the packaging is the usual um, literature. They have the brochures here about the features of the Olive Edition. This is a special edition that was released a couple of years ago. And I don't think it's available anymore it might be you might find a couple in some specialty stores but i doubt if it will be as easy to find as it was a couple of years ago when they released this particular color now um the 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 elastic on the packaging seems like olive to me and of course the notebook itself comes in a muslin little pouch but first let's look at the replacement elastic it it does seem um olive colored to me now with the brown one the um the replacement elastic is orange and then if we compare it to the elastic on the packaging it is it is really olive i think please correct me if i'm wrong my my eyesight is kind of going bad <laughs> so here is the last thing that's inside the packaging some literature about the traveler's notebook and it's in um, two different languages Japanese and English and now let's go to the notebook itself this is the muslin bag that it comes in or is it cheese cloth I'm not really sure but it's just there to protect the notebook and you can use it for every day too it's not just for um, shipping and all that so this is the olive notebook and the elastic on here is also olive let's compare it with the replacement elastic let's look at it again because I'm not really sure okay it does seem like the same color so everything is olive here the cover and all the elastics are olive unlike the other um, notebooks with different colored replacement elastics now this one is a newer one so it says on the back traveler's notebook and it also has this um, clamp here that holds the elastics on the spine. It is, it, it's still brand new, I've never used this. And as you can see, um, it has a very thick leather, very finely done. And the inside of, the backside of the leather is also um, olive and the elastic on the spine is also olive. And of course you have the string bookmark on here that also already has a knot in it I, I don't really know if that is standard but here again is this fine elastic it is also in olive now it comes with a um, it, this is a blank notebook let me show you in a while let's see it, it comes with only one notebook but the paper quality of this is very very good it's one of my favorite paper papers that I have ever found in any notebook ever and I really like the traveler's notebook I like the philosophy behind it now here is my super duper old old brown traveler's notebook I had this brass nameplate made by Juan Luis Fossman a friend of mine on Facebook and on the fountain pen collectors group I purchased this in I think 2012 and look it, it has a different um branding on the back it just says midori and i already filmed a video about what's in my midori traveler's notebook and i will link it down below so we're not going to go through that but i'm not using the string bookmark on mine i simply looped it through the knot in the elastic closure 
So it's just a prayer book on there. And these are the bookmarks that I use. Um, they're just satin ribbons hooked to the um, elastic on the spine. And then I have some um, charms on there, brass charms. So this brown is very, very old. So it's more shiny and it has a lot, a lot, lot of um, scratches. And the brown color is quite uneven. And if you're wondering what happened to this notebook, I, I never really, I mean this olive notebook, I never really ended up using it even after a couple of years. So I ended up selling it to someone else. So it's not with me anymore, but I was able to film a video of it before I shipped it off to the buyer. Now, um, I'm, I've been selling a couple of my things online things that I've been holding on to for a really long time, things that I used to really, really enjoy owning and using, but that was a long time ago. And I realized that having so many things, having so, so many things in so many places, is quite frustrating and it's quite stressful. And I have, I had things in the office, I had things in the dorm, and I had things in storage, and I had things in my parents' house. And when I moved back into, into my old hometown, and I saw all the things together in one place, I was like so overwhelmed. I have so much stuff, and half of them I don't even use anymore. So this is one of the things that went away. Now I know this is a collectible and worth holding on to, but I, I, I really have, I really just have too much stuff. So anyway, if you, if you find out or come across a store that still has this, please let me know in the comments, just so that someone who might still be looking for this can have a little bit of help from us. And by the way, I'm back on YouTube. Thank you so much for your patience while I was away. I'm going to have a couple of videos for you in the next coming days. I hope you hang around. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.